Joining me now, conservative author and columnist Ann Coulter. Ann, welcome to Waters World. It's glad to finally have you on the show. Um, Good to be here. L let me ask you a question. You know, these Democratic mayors, they use these federal funds to buy votes, to, you know, hand out pork and patronage. Are we naive to believe that, you know, withholding a few million dollars is going to stop this out of control behavior? Because they'll just keep spending and spending and spending. You think more needs to be done? A lot more federal funds could be withheld. Congress may need to pass a law to, to allow other federal funds to be withheld. There are certain, certain categories of them that the Attorney General is able to withhold. But, um, I, I mean, the IRS used tax policy to, to dictate the dating policies at Bob Jones University. <laughs> Oh, no, the federal can, government can have a very big impact on not only private private schools, um, but, but cities and towns. I mean, remember, it was Liddy Dole who changed the national speed limit to 55 miles an hour right. for, for, by threatening to give them highway funds. Um, but this, this, the, the supremacy clause of the Constitution that says federal laws are supreme over state law, um, it, it's, it's treated like a ratchet. So if it's a federal law liberals like, right. um, like um, we shall have one national abortion law. Abortion will be legal. Um, that must be enforced. Or, or the gay marriage ruling. Right. By the way, these aren't laws. These are mere Supreme Court opinions. Down to, you know, some poor little Kentucky clerk. <laughs> the, the, the next day, they're demanding she issue the gay marriage license. But when it comes to things that are, by definition, laws... Um, that the federal government ought to be dealing with immigration. I mean, you can't contain immigration to a single city or a single state. They, they can walk around. They can, they can go from, from, from one town to the next to kill people. Of course, that's um, immigration, as the Supreme Court has ruled over and over again. And the liberals reminded us with Arizona, yeah. of course immigration is a federal responsibility. Could you imagine if the local jurisdictions disregarded federal law on guns? or on abortion, <laughs> yeah. or on drugs. Tax law. Or tax law. Imagine, you know, you know we're going to collect the local and then the city and the state tax. We're not really going to hand over any federal taxes. I mean, the, the hell that would rain down on those cities and states would be unbelievable. But when Democrats do it in these precincts, it's noble. Total double standard. That's actually, a, you know, that's a great idea um, because I've noticed liberals never understand um, or pretend to never understand how corrupt their principles are until we turn around and apply it to them. <laughs> I mean, we're seeing it right now with um, the rule on how many votes are needed to confirm a judge. Now suddenly, oh, they're outraged that, that we might change it to 51 for the Supreme Court. Well, they change it to 51 for every position except the Supreme Court. And sexual harassment laws under Bill Clinton. Right. I mean, I, I defended cases where bosses would get in trouble for having a picture of their own wives wearing a <sighs> bikini on their desks. That was considered sexual harassment. But right. Bill Clinton dropping his pants and saying, kiss it. Suddenly they realized perhaps, perhaps we should roll back some of this sexual harassment law. <laughs> and your, your concept, because you're an attorney as well, tell me if this you think is going to work. What if they allow these wrongful death suits to go forward and say Kate Steinle's family sues the pants off San Francisco and Mayor Ed Lee and some judge or some jury slaps the city with a judgment to the tune of, you know, 10, 20, 30 million dollars wrongful death. You think that's a possibility? Yeah, actually, I've never heard anyone suggest that, but that seems like a great idea. I mean, well, I have a brilliant legal City mind. What can I out. say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New York City pays out tens of millions of dollars. You ought to look that up every year for. Um, yeah, the police you know, brutality and stuff um, like that. Yeah. Yeah, and those are. That's government action, and they're, they're just writing checks every day. <laughs> That's um, true. Or, I don't know, every month. That um, is so, true. So, yeah, it seems to me the same principle applies. All right, so I think we're on something. And, Ann, I'm going to hold you over for the next segment, because we're going to talk about how this Russia story could potentially backfire on the <laughs> left.